Hello, welcome to this video. This video is to show you how to paint a book cover similar to this using a hard cover, either a sketchbook or an old book you might have that you want to just paint the cover on. Um, nothing antiquarian or special though, just like an old, an old book, you know. Anyway, this is to show you how I achieve this kind of effect. So what I did was I took a similar book, old sketchbook here, and I taped off around the edge and then I painted the middle with gesso and that's how you've got a good um, surface to paint onto. So I'll just show you how to do that. So in this one I've put a piece of paper just to protect what's going on behind there and then hopefully that's not sticky. Okay so get some tape. I think in this case I'm just going to do the bit at the edge not the whole thing. So, so. And this is Gesso, a universal primer, it says, for a wide range of surfaces. So, I put a couple of nice Indian bracelets on today, vintage ones. So if you're not enjoying the watching me do the uh, painting, you might, in, you might appreciate the bracelets. Right, okay, so I'll leave that to dry. And then in the meantime, I'll paint this one that has dried. And I've already got chosen two paints. I'm going to choose acrylic holbein luscious lemon and luminous lemon why did i say luscious luminous lemon and luminous opera and there's no luscious there at all <laughs> for this one here i just painted freehand um an abstract design and then i just went over with black paint just dividing it up to make it more interesting if you like you can take a pencil and sketch out your design first if you prefer. Um, I could do that, couldn't I now? Let's have a quick sketch. What should we do? Um, I don't know, some sort of flower design. And I don't know, that'll do. Okay, so just got this old plastic lid. I'm going to put the paint on. Um, which way round should it are? I'll use this one first. Oh dear, I can't open it. Well, that was good, wasn't it? Oh gee, I can't open that one. Always clean around the edge of your lids before you put the lids back on. So we we'll use this pink. Very bright, isn't it? And then I've got some different paint brushes here. These are quite cheap. Winsor Newton Foundation. I think I got them from W. H. Smiths. Anyway, so let's use this smaller one, this smaller brush. And 
Hold on, let's do the let's do the negative. Let's paint the negative space. Don't worry too much about being accurate. And with acrylic paint, you can always paint over it anyway. Or once it's dry, you could reapply the gesso and have another go. Let's get another paint. Right, I've opened this one up. This is this is just called Luminous Yellow. And don't put as much as I've put out there, <clears throat> not necessary at all. I'm getting a bit over enthusiastic. That's it, so this is the yellow. It's quite orange, isn't it, really? <clears throat> <clears throat> nice and bright. Not going for perfection here, we're just going for interest. So that didn't take long to do at all, did it? So what I need to do now before I do anything else is I need to let it dry and then I'll probably use this Liquitex acrylic gouache Mars Black um, which I used on this one just to go around the edge um, and just to add some more detail and then I'll be able to remove once that's dry I'll be able to remove the tape and what I'll do is I'll do an update on my community pages so you can see this one finished and also you can see what I've done with this one. <clears throat> 